Hello, church family. Have you ever been in a situation where people have honored somebody, where they kind of just heap praise upon them, where they give them words and an encouragement and, and give them praise, and to the point where the person just kind of, after a while, can just only be humble and, and, and take it in? Well, as we talk about why we give to, to God, I want to talk about Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 and 10, where it says, Honor the Lord with your wealth. And with the best part of everything you produce, then you will fill your bar barns with grain, and your vats will overflow with good wine. Well, a lot of times people like to focus on verse 10, that God's going to fill your barns with grain, and He's going to overflow everything in your life. But I want to encourage you to think about the, what we do in the verse 9, where we honor the Lord with our wealth. The word honor means to wait somebody down like a king when a king would be honored they would weight him down with his robes and his jewels and his scepter and, and everything and and so everything that would honor the king showed how great he is and so when you talk about somebody and honor them you lift them up and in fact when we're talking about um, people we kind of like give all the accolades and we, we record everything they've done well when we're honoring the Lord we actually want to pile up praise we want to pile up praise for God and we want to give him words of worship, and we want to give him words of um, encouragement. We want to bless God for what he's done and thank him. And so to honor the Lord is not only to honor him with our praise, but we are to honor him with our resources. And so when it says, honor the Lord with your wealth, the best part of everything you produce, you produce your income, you're saying, God, I want to give you my best. Now, we don't have, we're not, you know, producing um, we're not an agricultural society where we have, you know, oranges or apples or bananas or, you know, wheat and um, grapes. And we're, we're not, um, you know, raising um, farm life, you know, where we have our best of our sheep and the best of our um, cows. You know, we basically have income um, and financial resources with money. And so when we give um, the, our best, we're saying we're giving God right off the top. So if we're going to honor the Lord, we not only pile up praise of words, but part of honoring the Lord is saying, God, I recognize you're the source of all I have. And because you're the source of all I have, I'm going to give my first part to you. I'm going to give my best part to you. So when it says to honor the Lord with your wealth and the best of your produce, you're giving what you have initially from in your income. You're saying, God, I wouldn't have any of this income if it wasn't for you. God, I wouldn't have any of these resources. I wouldn't have this job. I wouldn't have these skills if it wasn't for you. So I'm going to honor you by giving you the best, the first in our case, because we don't have the best. We can't compare like, you know, these dollar bills versus these dollar bills. You know, they're all going to be looking like dollar bills. They're going to be just numbers. But we're going to honor God with the first part of what we give. And so when we say, God, I've been given this blessing, whether it's a paycheck, whether it's a bonus, whether it's a gift, you're going to say, God, this is from you. And I wouldn't have this if it wasn't from you. So I'm going to pile up this praise for your kingdom by giving you of my wealth. Because it's really not my wealth. It's your wealth. And because it's your wealth that you've given to me, I recognize you as the giver. I honor you as the blesser. I thank you as the one who's given me all the gifts and resources for it. And so I'm going to give it to you. And I want to pile up that praise upon you and put that um, crown on your head for your kingdom, for your glory, for your purposes. So if why do we give? One of the reasons we give is to honor our God, to bless Him, to give Him praise, so that His kingdom purposes can take priority in the world and especially in my life. So when we're honoring God, we're saying, God, your priorities take place. So a lot of times when we honor other people or we honor ourselves, we're like, hey, this money's for me. You know, this is for my allowance. This is for my little savings account. You know, it's for what I have. I'm honoring myself and, and have my own interests in mind. But when I honor God with my wealth, when I honor God with my giving, actually I'm honoring his purposes, his heart, his plans of what he has for people. And so I'd encourage you when it says honor the Lord with your wealth, with the best part of your produce, you're saying, God, your priorities are what's important. Your plans are what's important. 
your heart for people or it's what it's important and so I want to give to those things and then God says when you do he'll take care of you if you give God your best your first he will take care of the rest just think of that I'm gonna give God my best which in our case means our first then he's gonna take care of the rest he'll fill your barns with grain and your vats will overflow with good wine good stuff and so why do we give we give to honor God to say you're the provider and I am giving back to recognize that your hand has been gracious to me and I receive because you give so I encourage you anytime you receive from God through your job bonuses paycheck gifts do you honor God first saying what's your priorities God if you do God says I will bless you because you've given me your best so I will take care of the rest. May this be an encouragement to you as you think about giving to the holy God that you love.